They are a good substitute for the cleric class. In fact, if you build them right, they can be more powerful than clerics. Hello guys, Genuine Gaming here. And here is a beginner's guide to the Oracle class. Role The Oracles are divine vessels granted power without their choice. They were selected by Providence to wield powers that even they do not fully understand. They use their spells and revelations to further their understanding of their mystery, be it through fighting mighty battles or tending to the poor and the sick. They have high will saves but low in both fortitude and reflex saves. They have 3 skill points per level and their class skills are Persuasion, Lore Nature, Knowledge World, Knowledge Arcana, and Lore Religion. Their primary stat is Charisma. I would suggest to put some points in Dexterity for more AC and Constitution for more hit points. Progression Oracles are proficient with simple weapons, light armor, medium armor, and shields, except tower shields. They are full divine casters. That would mean they can cast up to level 9 divine spells. Combined with the angel mythic path, they can cast up to level 10. The main features of an oracle class are Oracle's Curse Every oracle has a curse that gives them certain penalties and bonuses. As the oracle advances, their curse becomes less detrimental and more beneficial. Mystery This mystery grants additional skills and other special abilities. These represent a devotion to one ideal, prayers to deities that support the concept, or a natural calling to champion a cause. Once made, this choice cannot be changed. At second level, and every two levels thereafter, oracles learn an additional spell derived from their mystery, Revelation. Oracles uncover a new secret about her mystery that grants her powers and abilities. At 20th level, oracles learn the final revelation about their mystery, granting them amazing powers and abilities. The nature of these bonuses depends upon the oracle's mystery. Archetypes Divine Herbalist these oracles practice an obscure alchemical art which involves medicinal and restorative techniques that transcend ordinary alchemy, allowing them to blur the line between alchemical medicine and divine miracles. They have the Master Herbalist ability and Healer's Way at 1st level, then gain a Master Healing Technique at 7th level. Enlightened Philosopher These oracles gain their powers from isolation in a deep desert, on a mountain peak, or in another secluded location. At 7th level, they gain mental acuity. The enlightened philosophers gain plus one inherent bonus to intelligence upon taking this revelation, and another at every third oracle level gained thereafter. At 20th level, the enlightened philosophers reach true enlightenment and become one with the universe. They receive the true enlightenment bonus instead from their chosen mystery. Lone Strider these oracles gain their powers from connection to untraveled places. A lone strider must choose a mystery that adds lore, nature, to their class skills. They have the recluse's strider ability that make their base speed increase by 10 feet. At 7th level, they gain fade from the memory ability which grants them 20% concealment for one round as a free action when there are no enemies within 10 feet. These abilities improve as the oracles increase in level. Possessed Oracle These oracles are possessed by spirits, demons, or similar beings. Instead of the possessed oracle drawing their powers from deities, these otherworldly forces work their magic through them. Their mystery is restricted to powerless prophecy, but they gain two minds ability, in which they gain a plus two bonus on saving throws against mind affecting effects. This would increase to plus 4 when the oracle reaches level 7. Purifier These oracles seek liberation of mind, body, and spirit from the bondage of sin and the taint of the unholy. At 5th level, Purifier gains sacred scourge. They can channel holy power as a cleric to harm evil outsiders. At 7th level, they gain celestial armor. And at 11th level, they gain sin eater ability wherein they can consume a curse, enchantment, or emotion effect by touch as a full round action. Seeker 
These oracles are obsessed with researching ancient texts and obscure ruins for any clues they can find about their heritage and histories. They have fewer revelations but they gain seeker bonus feet at 5th, 10th, and 15th level. Wind Whisperer These oracles use the whisper of the wind as a source of power. Wind Whisperer's mystery should be wind. At 7th level, they gain haste of the wind as a swift action. Then at 15th level, they gain freedom of the wind also as swift action. Oracles are the sorcerers of the divine spells. What makes them a good choice as a class is that oracles are spontaneous casters. You will not be having problems of choosing what spells to prepare for the adventure. They are good substitute for the cleric class. In fact, if you build them right, they can be more powerful than clerics. With regards to archetypes, Seeker is a good choice if you want more feats than revelations. Divine Herbalist has a potential for a good healer build. And I would try to avoid Possessed Oracle as Powerless Prophecy is just too inhibiting as a curse. So that's it about guys. I hope you find the video helpful. Do not forget to leave a like to let me know. And if you want more Pathfinder Rat of the Righteous video, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Ciao!